Hello friends, this video on air around us part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So not only animals and aquatic animals, even the plants need oxygen. So why do they need oxygen? Because even plant body is also made up of cells and each of those cells also need oxygen to get energy. And if the cells do not work, there also the plants will not be alive. So there also oxygen is equally important. So plants take oxygen from the surrounding air because air contains oxygen and plants they have the leaves and on the leaves they have very tiny pores like structures which are called stomata and through them they can do this exchange of gases. Even the organisms which live in the soil, they also need oxygen for this survival. In fact, as I said, all organisms need oxygen. So how do you think these soil organisms would receive oxygen? So they get oxygen from the soil. So one of the examples of soil organisms would be earthworm. So earthworm is a very common example of an organism which lives in the soil. In fact, there are a lot of other tiny insects which live in the soil. So, and now again a very surprising fact that did you know that oxygen is present in soil as well? Oh yes, it is present. Again, she is very surprised to know that it is present in soil. But again, we will prove it. So what we do is, you take some soil, some dry soil in a beaker and add sufficient amount of water to it. Now as soon as you start adding water, what do you see? You see that bubbles are formed in that beaker. As you see, as you have put water, so you see the presence of bubbles. And these bubbles, the presence of these bubbles indicate the presence of air in the soil. So this very simply proves that soil also contains oxygen. And from this ox and this oxygen is what the soil organisms breathe in. Now, have you noticed uh, and something very interesting? Now, have you ever seen that uh, generally during the rainy season, you get to see more earthworms? So, otherwise in summer season or winter season, you do not see a lot of them. But during rainy season, you see a lot of earthworms. Do you know why? Now, it's not that uh, they remain alive only during rainy season. They are very much there even during other seasons. But during other seasons, they remain inside the soil. But during rainy season, they come outside on the soil. They come on the surface. And that's why we see them. Now, why do why they do so? That's because when there is so much of rain, then too much of water gets collected in the soil. Right? Now, when there is too much of water in the soil, the entire... Uh, soil gets clogged, uh, soil gets blocked with water. All the spaces between the soil particles, they get filled with water. So there is no space for air. Now since there is no air within the soil and these earthworms for their survival, they need oxygen. So they need air. Now since there is no air, so the only choice that they are left out with is to come out on the surface to breathe in air because air is anyways present in the surroundings like oxygen is there in the air so they come out so that they get exposed to the atmosphere they get exposed to the air and they can breathe in oxygen so that's the reason that they come out so then they are seen more during rainy seasons only because they need oxygen to breathe in so oxygen they need oxygen and during rainy season, what happens is the soil gets blocked with water. That is, water occupies all the spaces. Therefore, no space left for air. No space for air. Therefore, no oxygen within the soil. But the organisms need oxygen. Therefore, they come out on the surface to take in oxygen from the air. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.